Oh no, Kitty, you're sneezing a lot. Maybe we should visit a doctor. That's a start, but if your symptoms stick around longer than usual, it's really important to see a doctor, especially now that there's a buzz about the HMPV virus going around. HMPV? Um, what's this new headache? That's exactly what we need to talk about by answering the latest question. What is HMPV? Zoom in! So, what's this HMPV virus everyone's talking about? For starters, HMPV or Human Metanumovirus isn't exactly new. It's been lurking around since 2001 when it was first discovered and it's a part of the same virus family as RSV, another common winter illness. The good news, it's nothing to panic about. The bad news, it's still something worth understanding, especially since it spreads easily and has caused a recent uptick in cases in some places like China. But how does it spread in the first place? Well, HMPV is a respiratory virus that spreads when someone coughs or sneezes and releases infected tiny droplets or by touching surfaces contaminated with the virus. Crowded areas like schools, buses and nursing homes are hot spots for its spread particularly in colder months when people tend to spend more time indoors. Most people who catch HMPV will feel like they're dealing with a regular cold. Symptoms include a runny nose, cough, sore throat and fever. For healthy individuals, it's typically no big deal and they'll recover within a week or two. But HMPV can be a bigger problem for young kids, older adults or people with weaker immune systems. For these groups, it can cause more severe illnesses like bronchitis or pneumonia and some may even need to be hospitalized. One of the challenges with HMPV is that its symptoms are so similar to those caused by other respiratory viruses. This makes it hard for doctors to identify it without specific lab tests. And these tests aren't always done. Because of this, many cases likely go unreported and the full extent of HMPV's impact might be underestimated. Another reason public health experts are paying attention to HMPV is its potential to overwhelm hospitals during seasonal surges. When too many people get sick at once, healthcare systems can feel the strain. That's why keeping an eye on HMPV activity as public health systems do with flu or RSV is important. It helps us stay prepared. Unfortunately, there's no vaccine or specific medicine for HMPV yet. Treatment focuses on managing symptoms like drinking lots of fluids, getting rest and taking over the counter medicine to reduce fever or ease congestion. Most people recover just fine on their own. In most severe cases, like those with underlying health conditions, patients might need oxygen therapy or even hospitalization. But as they say, prevention is the best defense. So start with the basics. Wash your hands often with soap and water especially before eating or after being in public spaces. Cover your mouth and nose 
when you cough or sneeze. Using your elbow or a tissue is best. Wearing a mask in crowded places or poorly ventilated areas during flu season can also help reduce your chances of catching or spreading the virus. And if you're feeling sick, stay home to avoid spreading germs. So, here's the bottom line. Most HMPV cases are mild. But for some people, the virus can be more serious. Therefore, by understanding how it spreads and taking simple precautions, we can protect everyone around us. So, stay safe, stay healthy and share this video with your loved ones. Trivia time! Did you know the HMPV was first isolated in the Netherlands in 2001? Yes, it was named Human Metanumovirus due to its similarity to avian metanumovirus. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Pranali Satpute. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.